Welcome to your business calculus lesson 3.3 rules of derivatives. Recall the definition of the derivative and our first important rule of differentiation. So the definition of derivative of f at x is f prime of x is equal to the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x over h provided that this limit exists. For all x for which this limit exists, f prime of x is a function of x. Okay, so we've learned the power rule. If n is a rational number, then the function f of x equals x to the n is differentiable. And d dx, x to the n, is n times x to the n minus 1. Uh, recall the different notations for derivative. Um, you need to be familiar with those. Okay, so there's some more rules that um, are great, and they can be proved from the definition of derivative. You need to know these. Uh, the constant rule is that the derivative of a constant is zero. The constant multiplier rule is if you multiply a function by a constant, it the derivative of the new function is going to be that same constant times the derivative of the original function. And the last one is that the derivative of the sum of two functions is equal to the sum of their individual derivatives. All right, so we're going to find the following. Uh, d dx is 17, since 17 is a constant, is equal to 0. d dx of 4 times x to the 6. We're going to take the 6 and multiply it by the 4 to get 24, and take the power down by 1 to get to the fifth power. The derivative of x squared plus 3x plus 6. Derivative of x squared is going to be 2x to the first, so just 2x, plus the derivative of 3x. That's 3x to the first, so it's going to be 3 times x to the 0. x to the 0 is 1, so we're just going to have 3. And then the derivative of a constant is 0, so we could put plus 0 but we'd want to clean that up, and so our derivative is 2x plus 3. Okay, these are some useful derivatives to memorize. The derivative of sine x is cosine x. The derivative of cosine x, though, is negative sine x. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. That's convenient. And the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. Now, the next two you can actually get from the power rule, but it, they occur so frequently, it doesn't hurt to memorize them. The derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared, and the derivative of square root of x is 1 over 2 times the square root of x. Okay, guys, um, the other thing we need to talk about is that in order to be differentiable, a function must be continuous and smooth. So that means derivatives will fail to exist at a corner at a cusp, at a discontinuity or hole, or at a vertical tangent. So if a graph is smooth and continuous, then the derivative is equal to zero whenever the derivative goes from positive to negative or negative to positive at a turning point. So you can see here we have a turning point, so the derivative is zero. Up here we have a turning point. And so the derivative is zero. And then down here we have a turning point. So again, the derivative is zero. That's it for today. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, please um, email me or come see me. Uh, I hope you have a great day.